Suffolk County Music Service presents The Sky, a how-to-play guide for Wicket students. Hello everyone and welcome back to your Wicket Instrumental Lessons. Today we're going to teach you how to play The Sky by Sarah Watts. Don't get your instrument out yet, we're going to listen first. And after that we're going to learn some of the patterns in the music and then we'll get down to some playing. Remember, you can stop and take a break at any time. We have lots of short learning bites for you, so you can even do this over several days and repeat bits as you practice them and get better. See you later. Before you play, we're going to ask you to be a musical detective. Listen to the music, think about it and write down what you think. Pause the video at the end of the music and give yourself some thinking time. So what are we going to be thinking about? First, are there any repeated sections in the music? Things that we remember, things that have happened twice in a row. What happens in the middle? Is it different to the music at the beginning? And what's the music like at the end? Next, we're going to think about the rhythm. Are all the notes the same length? or are some longer than others? Are there any silences, rests, where the instrument doesn't play? Listen to The Sky by Sarah Watts and remember, pause the video at the end of the music. Pause the video now and write down what you think. If you want to listen to it again, you can go back and do that too. Why not tell somebody at home what you found out and see what they think? So what have you found out? If you're listening really carefully, you might have found that this piece has three sections. The structure, or how it's built, the form. The music at the end is the same melody as the music at the beginning. The music in the middle is different. We call this structure by a special name, ternary form. The piece uses different rhythms to make the music interesting. It has long notes, shorter notes and silences. And it also has something to shout out. Did you spot that in the introduction? Well done. Now let's learn about the notes which make up the rhythms. Now let's look at the notes we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing crotchets worth one beat, minims worth two beats, quavers worth half a beat each, and they usually come in pairs, and semi-briefs, which are worth four beats. They are not coloured in, they have no tails. So let's start our click track. We're going to clap along with the pulse. The word is walk. Clap along with me. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, 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 walk. Well, 
done. Now we're going to do minims. Minims are worth two beats and the word is sway. Here we go. Sway, a, sway, a, sway, a, sway, a, sway, a, sway, a. Fantastic. Let's have a go at quavers. Word is running. Here we go. Running, 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 running. Good. Now let's have a go at semi breathes. Sleep, e, e, eep, sleep, e, e, eep, sleep, e, e, eep, sleep, e, e, eep. I wonder if we can put those together. If we've got the count going on in our head, we're going to do some copy back patterns. Here we go, my turn first. Walk, walk, swear, a. Walk, walk, swear, a. Swear, a, walk, walk. Swear, a, walk, walk. Running, 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 running. Running, 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 running. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Well done. Well done. Now it's time to get your instrument out and warm up. Or you can stop and then play another day. It's entirely up to you. This week we are going to begin a piece of music called The Sky. Before we look to see how the music is played, there are some things we need to check. First of all, we need to remind ourselves of the valve or slide positions for the four notes C, D, E and F. For people who play a valved instrument, remember C is open, no vowels. D is first and third valve. E is first and second valve. And F is first valve. If you haven't played your instrument for a few weeks, then as brass players, it is good for us to warm up in order to get back to playing. So let's start with some warm ups. Why not take your mouthpiece and do some buzzing exercises on your mouthpiece first? Then we can play similar exercises on our instrument. Begin by holding some long sounds for four beats on your mouthpiece. Then try to play some two beat patterns and some one beat patterns. Once your lips are working and you are getting a good sound on your mouthpiece, then go on to the instrument using the notes C, D and E. Try to play the same patterns on your instrument. Still holding long notes first of all, and then introducing two beat notes and one beat notes. Once these are working well, you might like to mix the notes up and mix the note lengths up so that you start to play some simple tunes. Another word for tune is melody. And if you are able to make up some simple melodies, then you are composing music. Try to spend time for five minutes getting your lips to work, getting a good sound on the instrument, whilst at the same time composing. Have fun trying. Now it's time to take our instrument and learn Section A. You will see three lines of music. The first line of music represents an introduction. The introduction is four bars long. Four lots of four beats. This will go one, two, three. Hey, one, two, three. Ha, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the big figure two with the thick horizontal line at the end of the first line represents eight beats or two bars. 
you will see an A in a square. This is where we start playing. And you will notice that we use the notes C, D and E. Take a full breath before you begin to play and remember to use your tongue, either ta or da, to begin each new note. You will notice under the first note the letters MF. This means mezzo forte, which is Italian for moderately loud. So try to play it quite loud. Also, under some of the notes near the end of the third line, you'll see some little arrows. These are called accents, where we try to use a stronger tongue action. Finally, look out for the two beat rests, which are arrowed in the music. And remember that the silence is just as important. So we need to count three four or sh, sh in our heads before we come in on the next note of the next bar. You can split your practice up into two bar sections. Remember a bar is the same shape as a rectangle. Section A will consist of four two bar sections. Then gradually put them all together until you've learned the whole of section A, which is also the whole of section C. Have fun practicing this week. As you were told earlier, the sky is made up of three sections, A, B and C. This week we're going to look at sections A and C. The reason we are looking at two sections is because they are both the same. So let's have a look at the rhythm. You will see some words above the rhythm to help you with the length of the notes. Maybe these are words that you haven't used before, but these words will also help to give you the rhythm. One, two, three, four. Sway, walk, walk. Sway, sway. Sway, walk, walk. Walk, walk, sway. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, running. Shh, shh. Sleep. Running, running, sh, sh. Can you see how the words sway and sleep helped us to hold sounds for longer than one beat? You will have also noticed that the sh, sh was used in order for us to count silence. In both cases, the silence was for two beats. Now I'm going to clap the rhythm, thinking of the words in my head. One, two, three, four. Have a go yourself. See how you get on, both saying the rhythm to the words and also clapping it. Remember to count yourself four beats in at the beginning so that you can set yourself a good pulse.
Fantastic. Keep practicing section A this week. Play it slowly at first and then get faster as you find it easier. Next time we'll add sections B and C and then we'll play the whole piece through. Thank you.